Today I'm going to show you how to add a PDF uh, to a blog post or to a page. We're going to start with a blog post. Um, so right here I'm on your home page. I'm going to go to your blog and we're going to click on manage blog posts. Then we're going to select the blog post that we want to add images to. Of course you can also create a new post, um, but we're going to add one to one of these existing posts. So let's go in here. I love your infographic that you create. You created it on Canva um, and what we actually have to do in order to upload it to a blog post is change it from a PDF. It looks like Canva downloaded as a PDF. I'm sure you could probably also export as a JPEG from Canva, but if you just have a PDF to work with, you can use tools. This is a free tool that's online, pdf to image.com. And you can choose this tab here, PDF to JPEG, and then upload your photos and then it will convert it for you and you can then download those images. So this will basically, it's creating two JPEGs. It looks like you have two different pages in that PDF. Um, so then once you've done that and you've downloaded these, these will just download to your desktop basically. Um, we're going to go back to the editor and we're going to add it. So let's come here to image. And the reason I say to change these to JPEGs is that PDFs while they are viewable online, they're not really that viewable online. Um, you need to, and wherever the, this is going to put those images into your downloads folder or your desktop, it depends on what your computer is set up to do. But depending on where your images are normally downloaded and files are normally downloaded, don't, downloaded look there. Um, so here I've just uploaded these two JPEGs. But the JPEGs are viewable online. So whereas a PDF, it's, uh, it needs to be displayed with a PDF viewer. And some of those can be done inside the browser window. Uh, but a lot of times it prompts the user to download the file and then they need to have Adobe or something to open it up. It's, it basically is a disconnect. Um, so with things like a infographic, it's better, much better to use a JPEG that you can put right onto the page. Um, so here we go, we have this. Now, we already have your image here. Um, so this, I might leave this here because I do like it starting out because it kind of gives you some, um, it kind of talks about you. So maybe we put this graphic down below. One thing I will say about the blog is you don't have as much control over the layout. Um, so if you decide to change this outdoor yoga, or I should say add a page specifically for outdoor yoga, you can have a little more control over the design of this and place it better. Um, but there's different things you can do to kind of make it work. Um, usually I write the copy or I change the copy in some way to make it longer so that I can make sure that this image isn't going to get bumped next to this one. Um, you can also do a straight um, no wrap, which I think if you get this small enough, you could do that. But I think in this case, maybe what we do is actually put this at the very top. I want to put this image and you can drag images around in your blog post. Then we're going to drag this image down. So you'll see this is can be a little tricky. Wix, Wix's blog, it's just not very perfect when it comes to um, getting your images where you want. So I'm trying to move this down here, but I'm having a hard time. If you kind of go down here, you can kind of drag it. And then you can see in the background where that little cursor is and that's where it's going to drop that image. Okay, so here we go. Here's this image. Let's make it smaller because I think it doesn't really work that great really big. So um, so yeah, so that looks good. You could also link this to the PDF if you would like um, and, and even say something in the blog post that says, oh, click on here for a printable PDF of this graphic or something like that. But um, I don't really think you need to do that. Again, PDFs are just not as friendly to use as, as JPEGs. This JPEG can be shared and pinned and all that, whereas a PDF cannot. Um, so it's important to change them. And using this little tool is an easy way to create those uh, files quickly um, from a PDF. And then also look and see if Canva might um, also export it as a JPEG. You can also use a ping file, PNG. Um, so that's that. So here is this image. The next step is to make sure it's optimized and you're telling Google and users what this image is. So we're going to put in here outdoor yoga. We'll just say eight new places to consider. Graphic. And you could even type in some of the stuff like trails and tracks and all that. 
um, including the keyword at the beginning of it and then expanding upon that to explain exactly what's in that image is good for SEO as well as accessibility and, and um, users. It tells Google what it is too and it indexes it in Google's world better by having those images uh, optimized with good keywords. Um, so I'm putting this up here at the top of the the post, but you could put it really anywhere. Um, I do like it a lot in that it could be shareable, and so it might be good to use this at the top of the post and then kind of expand upon it down here. So I think that works. Um, let's get your other image back to a good spot. So you'll see even I have to play around with things until I get it the way I like. So don't be frustrated. Just know that like the blog is trying to wrap text, so just try to work with that um, boundary and go from there. Now, one thing I will say about this graphic is it is a little bit on the tall side because, you know, you, to see the whole thing, you have to really scroll on small, smaller monitors. So you may want to try to condense it um, and maybe have two blocks side by side, um, trails and tracks, golf courses on the other side and um, try to make it so it's shorter. Um, it's kind of better to have it maybe like two by three uh, in proportion. So a little bit taller than, than wide, but um, that would work. Uh, this is just a little on the long side. So it's fine though for now, I think it's totally fine, but maybe if you can work on another one that's shorter, that could help as well. Um, and then you can also put the other one, I think there was a second one. Um, let's put that one just down here at the bottom before your uh, Instagram stuff. So we'll click here. And I think the other one was actually pretty similar um, when there's a lot of, the problem is I don't even like using folders anymore because they do take up all the room up at the top of the page and you have to scroll down to get to your new images. Um, so just something to note, you, you don't need folders, they do help you organize, but I find that the, the file name actually helps better because if you search the file name and you have a good word in there that can be searchable, that's easier than trying to find the folder that it's in. Um, I use the search all the time. So anyway, let's get the second image in here. Um, so I think these are very similar. I don't know if you wanted to use them both. Uh, well, they kind of say the same thing, eight new places to consider. And so I think maybe this subhead needs to be changed to match like eight uh, or whatever, eight things to use or something or uh, best equipment for outdoor yoga or something like that. But anyway, here it is. Um, you can use these little handlebars to, to resize it. You can also use these little tools up here to kind of give different standard sizes. Um, this is also where you can align it to the left or to the right of text. Um, and it works good with text, but with other images that can be problematic. So um, if you do put it in here, you want to put it next to a lot of text. Um, so let's drag it up here. Let's see if I can get it there and then let's change it so that it's wrapping the text around it and see you'll see it works pretty well here because this is a lot of text but you might need to add a little bit more text in order to make sure that this is down below um, so it can be a little tricky you can also resize this image to be a little bit smaller but because this image is so tall it's kind of hard to flow text around it without you know if there's other images involved they start to get jumbled up into it. So either write more copy or create an image that's a little bit shorter, not quite so tall, but try to include all these things. And like I said, maybe a two column format would work for this. Um, but let's get that in there. Set last up, make sure that it's optimized again. So outdoor yoga equipment, best equipment for outdoor yoga practices. Um, and then there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Um, and actually, I do like how, because it is long, it is nice to flow text next to it. So we could do that. We'll move your image down lower on the page, which I think is, uh, that's a good way to kind of have it, have best of both worlds. So let's try this. I'm going to change this format to align to the right. Um, I do need to get rid of a couple of those extra spaces. Let's align this back to the left because I think that just looks better. And then this kind of fits nicely here, but you'll see this image now is getting messed up. So I might want to move this one down somewhere else in your article that uh, where it fits better. Let's kind of move it down a little bit more here. Put it next. 
Exodus copy. If I can get it to take, doesn't always work. You can see where the, the little cursor lands. That's kind of where I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, I want it to be next to those images. So, okay, that, that isn't bad. Let's also make this bigger. I think that looks nicer full screen. Um, now this one, now we can move this one down a little bit further down below, just to give it a little bit more room. Sometimes it messes up your formatting, so just fix it if you need to. Um, all right. Oh, actually, this is the being on display. I think the C, well, no, I think this works, actually. Um, so anyway, you'll see. You can play around with this and get it where you want. And like I said, you may want to build a page out of this because Wix is very good at letting you design pages much more easily than these blogs, which are designed to kind of flow and, and uh, uh, have text wrapping, which you just don't have quite as much control over the look and feel of it. But I think this works really well. Um, and I love these graphics. The only thing I'd say is maybe make them a little bit shorter. So, um, And then maybe adjust that second title of the second page of it. Um, but let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish this. We'll close out of this and that's done. Um, but hopefully this explains how to get your, your graphics up once you've created them in a tool like Canva or Photoshop or any other design tool.